Good evening, everybody. Buenas noches, Miami. My name is Eduardo Alonso Velázquez Montiel. I want to take a quick moment to thank you all for your attention, and tonight I want to talk to you about heroes. The dictionary defines a hero as a person who is admired for great or brave acts or fine qualities. My first hero was my father. He was a strong, kind, and the most excellent man I've ever known. September 11 came, policemen and firemen demonstrated to the world what real heroes are. Tonight, I want to talk about my biggest hero of all times, my son, Alonso. Alonso was a normal kid by all standards. He was playful, active, and talked like many other childs his age until about three. Then, he suddenly stopped interacting with others. It has now been, it has not been a, an easy path. Uh, many times my wife Rosa and I did not know what to do and what the future was going to bring, but we are very lucky. We found great teachers and specialists that were willing to go the extra mile. We tried many different things such as Taekwondo, soccer, tennis, basketball. The important thing is not to give up. Alonso, like many others in the spectrum, is an awesome young man that performs brave acts every single day and an example of a person with extraordinary qualities. He now meets me when we play basketball one-on-one. -on -one. This morning happened again. How cool is that? Tonight, I ask that we all celebrate our heroes, all those wonderful human beings on the spectrum that fight every day. Let's support Autism Speaks that works to create awareness on this issue that touches so many people around the world. Tonight, we can all be heroes. And now, <clears throat> I want to introduce to you my hero, my son, Alonso Velasquez. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank Autism Speaks for giving me the, the opportunity to speak at this great event. Here's a little something about my journey. It wasn't just one path, but a multitude of paths. Paths that led me through successes and failures, achievements and setbacks, good days and bad days. Fifteen years ago came the day I was diagnosed with autism. Today, being told your, told your child has autism may be heartbreaking, but back then, it was nothing short of absolutely devastating. My parents were obviously distraught to hear of this, but what gave them the edge was their tenacity and their courage, their ability to kick down doors to make sure I got the treatment I needed. And the best part? The entire time, I thought I was just like any other kid. <laughs> 10 years ago came the day when my parents told me I was on the spectrum. Like anyone else at the time, I had no idea as to what that even meant. It wasn't until years later I learned what autism brought me. To me, autism is a limited ability to socialize with others, a challenge to even make eye contact should it ever get bad enough, and even elevated emotional capacity, meaning that happiness becomes joy, anger becomes rage, sadness becomes despair. To this day, I'm still working to make sure I have my social skills mastered, and my emotions under control. Five years ago came the day when I began to discover who I was. It was during my first two years of high school where I didn't do all that much in terms of extracurricular activities. This was because I had some unknown fear of socialization. This was because it wasn't until my junior year of high school that I kickstarted my way into the person I am. By the end of senior year, I became president of an autism awareness club, gained a favorable reputation among the high school social elite, danced at the senior prom complete with a beautiful date, graduated with honors, and I've even found my first relationship with someone on the spectrum, no less. A year ago, came the day When I first drove to FAU's campus in Boca Raton, driving looks like a daunting task for a parent's child to take on. But add the additional baggage of autism, and you've essentially got my mom. 
And yet, I find driving to be not such a stressful thing. As for college itself, I found it to be a much better environment for those on the spectrum, since you're much more likely to find more understanding people. At, as of now, I'm doing extremely well with classes, and my efforts have led to a scholarship from FAU's capture program. I'm also part of the National Society of Collegiate Scholars. Next year, if my ac academic load allows it, and should my good grades continue, I will start the Autism U chapter at FAU. And remember this, I have a message for those of you still struggling to take care of your child on the spectrum. Take it one day at a time. Don't despair and always keep fighting the good fight. Every single day. Never, ever give up. I am Alonso Velasquez. I am a sophomore at Florida Atlantic University and you are the reason I'm here fighting my own good fight. And one last thing, Since whether or not your child is on the spectrum, especially if they're on the spectrum, your children will become the future. Thank you all, y buenas noches Miami.